race and the crazy chase to win lots of prizes. Now here's the guy who puts the fun into Funhouse, Pat Sharp! Wow, so it's been a while since I've done that. It's been a while since I've done that properly, and it's been a while since I said this is the Funhouse! <laughs> Marvellous to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a great day. Say hello to Melanie and Martina. <laughs> and in turn, if these guys and girls come from your school, give them a big welcome. Here come the contestants today. <laughs> Don't they look great? OK, this is Judy and William from Kilmarnock, and they both attend the Grange Academy. Yes! Yeah! How are you guys? You're right. I think Bob. They're fine. They're fine. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Reds? Who have you got? I have Scott and Amy, and they're from Swinton, and they attend the Swinton Comprehensive School. Yeah! So the battle is on. Uh, give us a quick twirl there, Scott. Just you. Good. No, no. Stop at the back. It's here. Stop there. When are you doing the other half? <laughs> I can't believe that these kids today—they're so modern. Or is it me who is so old? We will find <laughs> out. As we wish all our players good luck on the fun house. Yeah! So here's how it works if you've never seen it before. And I can't believe you've never seen it before. I've seen it hundreds of times. However, I'm often not in when it's on because I'm here doing it, if you see what I mean. Anyway, basically, there's three fun-filled games. Of course I am. I'm here. I'm doing it. This is it. Three fun-filled games, all right? They're worth 25 points to each team. Key game. Runners-up get points for the amount of things they dingle or dangle or whatever they smash in that game. And then we'll do the Fun Cut Grand Prix, also worth 25 points. Then a trip into the fun house. Look at that fun house. There. Look at the tags. They're all in there. And the power prize, well... That is absolutely marvellous this week. Depends on which tag you grab and depends on which team, of course, makes it that far. So we'll find out. So if we're ready to play, let's get on with uh, game one, shall we? If you'd like to take everybody away, please, because they're about to be driven absolutely batty. All four contestants are ready to play batty baseball. But uh, batty and Robin style? Come and see what I mean. I'll explain all. Let's do it! <laughs> Welcome along to our Batty Baseball game. All set for a quick home run or two. Not bad at all. It's my first good catch of the day. However, in this game of Batty Baseball, just have a look at our contestants. There's your Batmen and there's your Bats. Girl. No, no. Batsmen. You see, Batmen, Batsmen. Because uh -huh. even though they're girls, uh -huh. they got the Bats at the start. Uh -huh. It'll be their job to go absolutely Batty and to make sure that our pitchers here send one of these rather gunge filled balloons crisscross. In other words, like this. So they might just meet in the middle to their opponent and then they smash it with their Flintstonian-type bat. And I mean a bat, because it's a bat out of hell by the way you girls look at the moment. Then, as soon as it's smashed, it'll be up to you to then change round. However, if it doesn't smash straight away, you have to keep throwing, OK? And every time it doesn't smash a ball, you may just get a rain shower from up above. Be warned. This is Fun House. You have 60 seconds. <laughs> It's a key game. The runners-up will also get points. On your marks, get set, go! time they got a score they changed round just perfectly didn't they you drop the bat and change round however i think it was very unfair of the weather you know what i mean i mean when you miss there was a rainstorm and sometimes when you hit there was a rainstorm yeah it was a rather random selection there wasn't it oh. right um i'm going to stand around the back where it's quite safe because you look such a hideous mess don't touch and I'm, me i'm of course just talking about melanie at the moment so uh, <laughs> how many points did the reds get we got 
Thank you very much for that. That's okay. Thank you. And uh, how many points did the yellow get? We got seven! Yeah! Yeah! For wiping that on my face, you've got your just desserts. Uh. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. Right, let's rerun that baseball fun! Yeah! Those bets went splat and the bit went on pat. But that's well, I'm here for fun as well. So six points, runners up are the red team there, 25 in the lead. The yellow! Yeah! And from Batty Baseball, here's a question for you. Right now, we'll ask the boys this, okay? Uh, they look the cleanest. <laughs> Nobody looks the cleanest. Who's Batman's partner? Robin. Reds. Oh. Sorry? Robin. Robin is right. Yeah! yeah. yeah. So quick to his answer. <laughs> he streaks into the lead now. It's 25 yellows, the reds. Go ahead. 31. <laughs> Girls, go and get ready now. You deserve to be cleaned up. The boys, you'll be allowed to watch with me, okay? I'll sit you on the side of the Ooh. pool. The game is called Tropical T-shirts and involves a lot of swimming but dressing at the same time. The wet looks back in fashion. Come and see why. <laughs> It is wash day here at the Funhouse Swimming Pool. What have I got to do? I've got to do all... Oh, I've got to, I, I can't do all this stuff. There, you catch that. We'll get that done a bit later on. Because if you have a look at our young ladies, they are preparing themselves to do what everybody does when they want to look better. Basically, you know when you buy those jeans and you think to yourself, well, you've got to make them shrink to fit. You get in the bath with them. This way, you get in the pool with your T-shirts. The only way you get your T-shirts is by swimming from end to end to choose the right coloured T-shirt and put them on. The one with the most T-shirts on at the end shrunk to fit will be the star winner it really couldn't be easier and it's not messy it's just a clean fun game 60 seconds on your marks get set go <laughs> Clock. Yeah, it wasn't easy there, was it, to actually find the holes for their arms? That was real tricky. They were sort of going like this. Very difficult. Let's see how we go on. Yellows, first of all. We got one, two, three, four! All Yay! right. <laughs> and for the reds, how many did we get, Mel? We got one, two, three, four! Oh, wow! Yay! If you like a score draw, you're in the right place. Let's rerun the wet fun. Okay, just because it was difficult to get all your arms in the sleeves there, there's no need to get shirty with me. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> anyway, well done to both teams. 25 points each! Yeah! Here's a question, girls. Are you ready? Good luck. Hit the buzzer when you know. That game was called Tropical T-shirts. Spell tropical. <laughs> yellow. T-R-O-P-I-C-A-L. Yes! She's right. 25 points, yellows. That makes the scores 56 to the reds, and the yellows in the lead with 75. <laughs> All right, Judith, let's stick with you then. Nicknamed Judy, which isn't really a nickname, it's just a shortening there, an abbreviation. Your hobbies are gymnastics and instruments. Yeah. What instruments do you play? I play the piano and the trumpet. Really? Yeah. Can you do a trumpet impression without having a trumpet? A... <laughs> <laughs> the answer to that is obviously no. So we'll get her a trumpet next time around. Anyway, you can blow your own trumpet for getting that right. You did very well. Let's uh, get the boys off now and get them ready, please, because it's quite a game. The girls could just take a seat and they can watch our last game ahead of the Fun Cart Grand Prix. It's a spectacular game which takes place in Italy with the gondolas. Oh, yes. Our boys are to be very romantic there. You will see, because they'll be driving the gondolas, all sorts of things are about to happen. It's going to be quite messy as well, because instead of just a gigolo, it's uh, just a gungolo. Come on! Gungolo! <laughs> Give it 
to me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's the way it goes, doesn't it? You know, I sing in the bath, the water gets out. Anyway, you like this game. It's going to be a lot of fun because even though the Reds are flagging behind just a little bit, I'm sure they'll be OK. I like your moustaches. I couldn't grow one. I was too young. Let's have a look at you. Oh, look. That's very smart indeed. All I can do is make a mess of this ice cream. Uh, I might just bung some of this at you during the game, but then again, I may not need to, because we are in Venice with our gondolas. I'd like you to go up that end and prepare yourself as soon as you can, because you'll be going from this side to that side, and you'll be going from that side to this side. Don't rest on your laurels. Pick them up. These are the laurels you'll be after. Placing them on your tin pot hat, the one with the most laurels. On the hats at the end will be the winner inside 60 seconds. It looks delicious. Not. Go! <laughs> yeah! Boat, stop the boat. Let's bring it back here. Wow. That was a real good game and uh, a little bit messy for me now. Some very funny coloured acid rain that you actually get in Venice nowadays. Now, did the ones count on there as well on yes, the arms? They, did, they yes. do. Oh, they count no on the arms. No more room, I'm afraid. No more room. His hat was yep. full, so put it on the arms. Okay, yellow's first. How many do we get, Martin? Okay, we managed to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yay! Wow. Good score, good score. For the Reds, we get... We got one, Ooh. two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, oh. thirteen, fourteen! Yeah. Nobody was resting on their laurels. Well done to both teams. Let's rerun that gondola yeah. fun. Yeah. So Scott has got the lot uh, for Swinton Comprehensive. 25 to the Reds. <laughs> now the yellow's on 75, the Reds head on 81. Here's a question for the boys. Are you ready? Woolly and Scott. Just one gungalow was the game. There's a famous beach in LA called Venice Beach. What does LA stand for? <laughs> Yellow. Los Angeles. Los Angeles, Woolly. You're right. Well done. You're in the lead now. 81 plays 100 to the yellow. <laughs> now, Woolly, you've got to tell me at this stage in the game why you want to be a pilot. Because there's a lot of money, isn't it? A lot of money, like isn't travel. it? Yeah. <laughs> Bit of free travel. All right. Yeah, good stuff. Well, you are flying high at the moment in the lead, so I wish you luck with your future career. Let's see what happens. You've got to go kind of fast in this next part as well, because we're going to move on straight away with the Fun Cart Grand Prix. Stand by to get into your togs, helmets and the rest of the gear as the girls bring on the carts! <laughs> Good squeak on the tyres there. I can't believe how quickly you guys have got changed. Fantastic. That was amazing. Well, you just went like, bam, and there you are in your outfits. Who's going to be going first then? Me, Pop. Oh, the boys. OK, the boys make the noise, all revved up on the engines on the first lap. One-handed driving, because you need the other hand to hit the plunger out there, OK? The ten plungers on the first lap. Then it'll be the turn of the girls to do their stuff with the 25-point plungers. And then on the final lap, the boys get back in again and go for the chequered flag. Then we add up all the points on the scoreboard with the flashing lights to see who's going to go into the funhouse. It's quite close. 81 playing 100. Yellow's in the lead. Boys, to your carts. Stand by. Come on, then, William. Stay there. Are you a noisy audience or a quiet audience? Good, good. Are you, are you a flag-waving audience? They're just the audience we want. Watch the lights. Here we go. Five, four, three... Two,
while those yellows were caught napping, the reds were doing some serious lapping. 25 points! Yeah! Start over here then with Will and Judy and see just how well they got on. When I hit this light, you will see on our scoreboard there just how many headlights are lit up. Here we go. Oh, excellent. I make that maximum, don't yeah. you? Yeah, very good. You got 140 for that. Well, add it to your 100. 240 your total score. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Right, nice. Scott and Amy, yeah. you were behind. Oh. You snuck in front. Now you're behind again. Well, let's see what happens. Mm. I make that maximum. 246, you've done it! You're going in! <laughs> My goodness, thank heavens for the key game, eh? Otherwise, it probably would have been a draw. I can't believe it. Ooh. Well done, Reds. Come back to you in a second. Here's a little something for you, because you were runners up. Ooh. Can you hold that one for me, Wooly? I know it's bigger than you. Just, just to check, we've got a uh, CD at the top and a cassette at the front and a radio on there. So it's just about everything you need, okay? Thank Funhouse God. style, well done. Well done, Judy, you've also got that each. The jacket, the hat. <laughs> you don't get to keep Martina, we need her for next week. Well, thank you both for playing. See you soon, bye-bye. See ya! <laughs> All right then, Scott Jones, Amy Taylor Sharp. It's a big moment. <laughs> It is a big moment, actually, because we're about to find out what's inside the most fun house in the whole country. Gary King has the details, and you kids, come and join us! Yeah! There's Fun in the Ball Run, where you can win a book bonanza. Shimmy down the slip and slide and subtract this cute calculator. Dive down the wild slide and land in these trendy trainers. Enter, if you dare, the monster maze and cling on to this Star Trek watch. Don't rule out the danger net, where you can grab a stationary set. Duck through the balloon tunnel and find yourself a fashion rucksack. Next up, our mystery prize, buried in the bobsleigh. Clamber through the crawl tube for a year's subscription to a TV mag. Hold on tight to the fireman's pole and you'll be munching and crunching crisps for a whole year. Flash through the flying fox and get your digits on this electronic diary. Show your face at the net ladder and collect this cosmetics kit. Shout at the snake in the box and wake up in a sizable sleeping bag. Over to the A-frame and make your mark with a mini stamper set. Go gong crazy, you'll be streets ahead with a street hockey set. And finally, don't trip over the giant steps. Just take off with these wacky walkie-talkies. This is an example one, okay? You can make quite a racket when you're going through as well, grabbing them. They aren't really hidden, they're just sort of sitting there, so you can just grab them as you go along. 15 price tags in total. One of them, of course, corresponds to the actual power price. Let's find out the details. It's exciting now. Gary! Just stay upright. Enjoy all the chills and thrills of the slopes on this magic winter fun skiing holiday. <laughs> Ski trip for each of you? Fantastic. You been skiing before? <laughs> no. Ever? No. Well, this is brilliant then. I really hope you get it. Of course, you won't know which one it is until you grab it. Let's show the people at home a little more of a clue. It's here. <laughs> All right. Now, your only clue is a cock a doodle doo. When you grab the one that makes it go. <laughs> Sorted? Yeah. yeah. Happy? Yep. Yeah. Who's goes first? Me. Amy, good. You'd probably get two runs. Scott will only probably get one, I would think. Yeah. Okay. And the cameras on top of your heads, as you can see them. Well, you can't see, but. We can. <laughs> They're fantastic. So, feed on the steps, or at least one anyway. Black. Your two minutes starts with a very big smile into that camera. Get set, go!
what I was talking about now. I said nobody ever gets two runs I each, know. you know? And there Scott goes and defies us all and gets his second run as well. Wow. Okay, very quickly, recite the alphabet. Go. You can't because you're out of breath, you see. It's impossible. Don't worry, don't get extra prize for that. This is what they managed to get each. The mini stamper sets. Woo! The book bonanza. Wow. The street hockey kits. Yes. Digital diary each. Yeah. Brilliant prize. Crisps for a year. Wow. <laughs> yum, yum. The mystery prize is... <gasps> a personal stereo. Yay! The Wicked Watch! Yes. That's what you wanted, Scott. The walkie-talkies, there you are. Be able to talk to each other when you get home. Save the phone bill. <laughs> the cosmetics kit. <laughs> and the stationery set. Wow. Yay. Very good, isn't Yay. it? And Amy, on your first run, when you went up that rope ladder, you managed to grab the right tag for the power prize. Bring it on, Martina! Yay. Now, all you can see at the moment in these cameras yeah. is each other. So have a good look yeah. at each other, because it's up to you two to rely on each other. You have ten seconds to confer. It's a ski trip for each of you. Yeah. The biggest prizes on CITV or on Funhouse. You ready? Yeah. Name, and please confer and think about it. Ten seconds is quite a while. Three swimming strokes. Front stroke, front crawl and back crawl. Yeah. So say your answer. Front stroke, front crawl and back crawl. Yeah. Well, I wasn't too sure about whether it was back crawl or backstroke, but it's been accepted, so well done, congratulations. You have a ski trip each on Fun yeah. yeah. We'll see you again for more big winning real soon. Thank you for watching. Remember, the biggest, most fun house in this country is right here on CITV. Oh. See you soon! Yeah.